welcome back to another video on the Glanza Mini. Um, yeah, yesterday we had a pretty productive day. I say, near side, yeah, near side inner and outer seal all done, completed. Uh, this horrible repair inside and outside by the floor section. Yeah, completed it, mate. Completed it. So now we're going to move on to something a little bit easier and a little bit more. You're going to look at it and go, oh, wow, well, that's that's pretty cool. I'm hoping. Um, and at least every time we have a look at the car, we're going to feel like we're getting somewhere. Because right now, it just feels like we're chasing our tails, patching holes in here, panelling over there. Uh, rub that bit, rub this bit. So we're going to uh, completely declutter, declutter the underneath with all these little clips for the brake lines and everything. So, because we're going to run all that inside the car. Reason for that, where we're running the car a little bit lower. Uh, just want to eliminate any chances of losing brakes. Because that's not fun. Not fun at all. So, yeah, we're going to declutter most of that. We've um, got a couple. Oh, I crawl under. It would be easy to raise the ramp up, but you know what? We don't have one of them. Um, yeah, so we're going to... Jordan, what are we doing? We're going to tack weld all these in. Um, so all of the nuts will stay there. I can't think of the name of it right now. Captive, Captive nuts, that's it. Captain nuts over there, Great. came up with that. Um, yeah, ground all that down, seam seal around the edge of there, just make it look a little bit more smoother. Uh, we've got to take this gear um, cable back out. Um, we've cleverly hammered a screwdriver between the marks to mark where we need to cut science um so then yeah we're gonna cut that up push all that further up so it gives us a little bit more clearance on this cable as it's a little bit tight um, and we feel that's what's making the gears a little bit stiffer going backwards and forwards um and then it's a case of mask up and then re-under seal the whole on underside of here so yeah plenty to do and then once that, well, that's all done, we'll lower the car down, let it dry, and then get on with something else. Possibly some more welding, but who knows? So having two people on a car is good. But when you're both in the same area, and he just keeps tripping up over everything possible, it isn't so good. So I'm just going to give you a quick glimpse of what he's doing. Carefully massaging the metal with like a lot of love and affection over there for that sweet gear change. Because um, we're going to be painting this, we don't want to get under seal all over this. Sorry. <sighs> so, it's time to uh, mask up all of that. I've kind of half started. Um, and then yeah, put a kind of sheet over there, paint all up in uh, into the rear valance with under seal. Um, and yeah, and then it's the seals to all be uh, masked up. And then yeah, I'll start cutting off all of the old brake line, um, yeah, brake line, battery cable, uh, actually battery cable I don't need to touch, and fuel line um, clips. And then uh, it's ready for some paint. Holiday swagger, get the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Well, I'm masking up your mother car. So yeah, so this is how far we're at the moment. Uh, both seals are pretty much all uh, all masked up. It's just trying to tackle this boot floor and get it to a point where we can get a nice fine line across the boot um, where it goes into that closing panel. I don't know how much you can see. The sun's in the wrong place. But yeah, and I'm all out of tape, so I've got to go get some more. So, hopefully in the next bit, that'll all be masked. Bada bing, bada boom. So we're now up the stage where she's almost ready. Just needs to do a slight bit of seam sealer around this uh, box section. Um, and of course where it's all been cut out, welded. Uh, most of the 
uh, brake line bits have been cut off and cleaned up. Uh, and now I'll bring you around to the back. His masterpiece of masking. It's looking pretty good. Rear uh, diffuser idea. Nah. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but yeah, it's looking pretty good. Just gonna slap some seam soil on it and then get the old gun ready and, uh, well, blacker. To kind of show you what it's all like. It isn't too bad, to be honest. Um, but yeah, because we've uh, worked on it and it's had a few patches, uh, it's only fair to do the whole thing again. So, a little before and after of uh, the bottom of the car. Before and after of uh, my face, because that's gonna get covered. So, I didn't get as covered as I thought I would, face-wise. Hands though, they're fucked. They're, they're not being white for a couple of days. But, the floor. It's all one color again. Look at that. Like brand spanking new. All up in the wheel arches, all done. And this side's pretty good. Now, while that's drying, I'm uh, yeah, gonna go down, see if I can get this in to cooler. Well, see if I can make it. Of course, it won't be done today, but yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, he'll be able to work his magic. Right, I've got good news and I've got bad news. Um, good news is I've just dropped off our template, our professional template of an intercooler. Um, uh, uh, yes, the guy did laugh at it, but I think that was a laugh of approval. Um, so yeah, he can build it to that exact spec. Only problem is, is where he gets the calls, they're not open at the moment, of course. Um, so that's going to have to be put on hold. So we can't put the front panel on for, oh, we can put the front panel on, but we're still going to have to cut it out. So, I mean, chances are we'll probably leave it out until we actually got it in our hands and then we can probably cut it about easier when it's off of the car, smooth off the edges and make a proper job of it. Um, but yeah, while I've been out in trying to chase up all that and run around for God knows who, Paul's been quite busy. He's done, done the scuttle repair, so I've got no more hole up there. Uh, the bit in the middle doesn't seem too bad and a few little blobs on the outside. So that's all looking pretty good. So we're just discussing what can we do next. We're looking at the actuator on the turbo, but I've just found a nice shiny one and I think it's gonna be a lot better. It's smaller, um, plus the actuator arm itself looks a lot longer and we can try and position it right down in a, in a, to that little crevice there. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to wait for that, or wait, yeah, wait and see what happens with that. Order one of them up. We can adjust all of the spring pressure, and it's fully adjustable. So, and that's what we want. Um, I forgot what we said we we're going to do now. I think what I'm just going to do now is clean up the roof, um, roof gutters. It's had a bit of an incident on the shell a few years back where it kind of separated between between the two. Uh, but it has had a new roof at some point. So, partly my fault, partly whoever put, put the roof on, all I know, it wasn't strong enough. So, apart from that, I'm gonna clean that up. Proper seam, well, uh, seam, seam seal it all, because uh, that was all repaired ages ago, so that's, all pucker now. But yeah, seems to see all that and maybe just put a splash of primer on it but with a can. And go from there. Yeah, the, uh, mini. It's a uh, yeah, pretty productive day. Um, it's come to a bit of a short end as now I've got to fix another mini. As when I went out in the other half's mini, the window dropped. Standards window uh, kind of clamp or runner shall I say has come off and fallen in the bottom of the door 
So, nothing new, nothing exciting, but it's all been stripped down now, and uh, yeah, time to get it working again. Guaranteed for a mile or a minute, as Paul's saying goes. Well, that pretty much wraps up our, um, or winds up the end of our uh, video. <laughs> so, goodbye from Mr. P himself. And goodbye from me. Um, I don't know if this is on me. Is this on me? Don't know, can't see. Ah, booger. Right, well, I'm still, still gonna give it a go. So, stay indoors and uh, see you again tomorrow. Maybe. More than likely. <laughs>